shoot! I try to drink that guy. <laughs> the freaking homeless guy around the corner saw me. Yeesh. Hey, we're safe from the police here, right? What's up? Are we? Yeah. Yeah, who do you want to know about? Nah, I guess I'm I guess I'm fine. Yeah. I'm out of here. Jeez, man. That rich looking guy was a great one for me to um Why did that just move on its own? <laughs> oh here he is again. But there's a homeless guy around the corner. Yeah, that guy was the end of me. Can you please stop looking? I'm not sure if the rich guy, the rich looking guy, even noticed that I was there. It was like, the homeless guy saw me, and then he started calling the police, I guess. <laughs> this is probably pretty risky, doing it out in the open like this, but I've got no choice. Yeah, those guys, they stick to themselves. They don't really look around that much. Okay. I don't think we have to come back here anymore, but I'm curious. What about that woman who was scared? A little bit sad though, because the first time around, I told her, Don't worry, you don't gotta worry about the bishop anymore. And I did get rid of him. But... This time, I bit her. <laughs> no, it seems like everyone's just gone now. Hmm. Well... It's a good thing, I suppose. It's a good thing. And we did all that with all the police. I don't even know how many shotgun shells I used there. Holy crap, I was just using them. Ooh, I've only got nine more shells. I didn't think it was that good, though. Maybe because I couldn't aim well. And plus, it's a shotgun, but that guy was aiming at me with a shotgun like he was using an assault rifle. Huh. I'll reload. Just in case. Brother Canker was stronger though, I think. This guy, not so much. I'm still not full on blood yet, but what else do we want to do? We can go to confession and try to look for Patty. Or, we can also try to look for the parking garage for the briefcase. The parking garage. Like, we know there's parking lots here, but we haven't been able to go in. Oh! What if it's talking about the parking lot outside Empire Arms? Because that's a bigger parking lot, and then that was a place where we had a behind section, where everything looked kind of shady. What's this? No trespassing. Where are we now? Six? Venture Tower again. Oh, should I be going back to LaCroix periodically? So Confession is five, and then... Hollowbrook Hotel is eight. Right next to it is the hospital. Oh! Wait, so this is the hospital right here? I don't want to get shot at again. There's a doorknob there. We could try looking around. Ooh. No knob here. But over here. Should I really be looking at this? It's a combat area. Whoa. Uh, 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 help me! Help me! 
It's got them. It's, it's coming for me now. It's, it's coming for me. <laughs> Look out, it's right behind you. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, man. Now I'm just screwing with you. What are you talking about? My crew, my crew, we, we were we were here shooting for my show. I'm a parapsychologist, haunted LA. Oh, ah. oh, God, it was right behind me. We've got to get out of here. It's that TV show guy. Milligan was his name? What's behind you? Look, I'll level with you. We we, we usually fake these things, you know, ghosts, if that's all bullshit. We were setting up downstairs and weird shit started happening. My crew, they all started disappearing. I, I don't know what's happening. They're filming episode 17 of their show. The one where they go to the hospital and pretend that the nurse is going crazy or something. Uh, wait here. I'll go and see if I can find them. No, no, don't go down there. We've got to get out. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. <laughs> okay. If you want to go, the door's this way. It's right here. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was out of nowhere. Right, you stay here and mumble incoherently. I'll be back. Oh, oh, no, I didn't, didn't see that. No, no, it never happened. Ooh. None of it. <laughs> creepy hospital? We have another creepy thing already? This is not what I was expecting when they said there was a hospital in the town. It's freaking downtown. How is there not even a... I mean, this hospital is not even functional. At all. Was that me? Oh my god. Whoa. Oh, dear. Okay. Alright. Mmm... Am I ready for this? I don't have full blood right now. Do you mind letting me have a sip? I don't want to mess with your dialogue though, so I guess I'll just... continue forward. Here? Oh... My god. Hey, we already had a creepy hotel. We don't really need a creepy hospital, too. Uh... Weren't we here already? I'm making a lot of noise here. Oh, we went past the barricade. Ooh... Nobody around here so far, but it's something that really spooked these people out. So chances are, it's probably some kind of vampire thing again. Oh, another computer? Whoa! There's blood on the ground, and then somebody just got dragged away. Wait, how many people do you have here? That guy didn't tell me anything. His crew is here, but how many people are here specifically? Oh, there's something in there. Wait, this is the spot. Oh no. Oh no. Morphine? Nothing under the beds. I'm guessing they want me to follow the trail of the... cameras. But what about upstairs? Is there were stairs right here. Are they blocked off? Yeah, it seems like it. Hmm... This is what you guys get for playing around in an abandoned hospital. You pissed off all the ghosts. 
Especially because we've already established that ghosts are a thing here. We already saw ghosts back at the hotel, and now... These people... have probably pissed somebody off. Is it a ghost though, or just a person playing a prank on them? We don't know exactly. Mm-hmm. Maybe we should have Auspex ready. That's a lot of blood. Do I really want to open that? Oh, oh. Was that me? That might have been. Hmm. We gotta get this stuff out of the way because we want to go here. Can't really move it though. Um. Oh, there's another door here. Hold on. Another way to go down? It seems like this place has been abandoned for a long, long, long time. Um, I'm guessing no matter how much we try to move this stuff out of the way, we can't do it here. So probably we gotta go back this way. This is so bad. If we ever need to run backwards, this is gonna be bad. There's too many obstacles here. There's too much random stuff in the hallways. Oh boy. Oh my god. Oh, this is how we're trying to get past the barricade. Everything is so clean besides with the little trays here. There's always so much blood. Oh, yeah. This is... the other side. Okay, get your weapons ready. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy, okay. I mean, I kind of feel like we should just leave and, you know... Not come back ever? Not come back ever? What's happening? There's no point in hiding, right? Oh, it's the Elysium now, suddenly. Whoa! Real terror is not the sight of death. It is the fear of death. What is the fear of death? Terror of the unknown. Is it these eyes you peer into? No. I am not the unknown. You and I are closer kin than you and it were. Your eyes? What are you? Drinking blood to sustain your death. You are damned, yes? What if, besides the blood of the living, you had to eat pounds of their flesh to maintain that thin facade of life? What would you call it? Twice damned? Vampires shouldn't have to eat. So you're not a vampire, but some kind of other... being. Oh. Who are you? My birth name I tell no one. You may address me as Pisha. Pisha was the name of my companion and lover in a time before my death, 230 years ago. She has no need of it anymore. Oh, you're old. You're old. Actually, I don't really have a concept of how old everybody around here is. All the vampires? We know that Nines was born 
as a vampire during the Great Depression, so like 1930s. But other than that, how old are people in general here? How old is LaCroix? Not sure. But I'm guessing probably younger than her. 230 years. Why are you living in a condemned building? My stay in this city is transitory. I seek relics of the occult traced here and would trade similar artifacts to acquire them. But if you wish to bargain with me, the kind upstairs must be sent down here. He has seen too much. To be killed? Are you going to eat him? Eventually. He'll never come down here. He's scared out of his mind. Tell him this was all a ruse. His friends playing a joke. He will come. He must come down here. If he leaves, the frail disguise we wear for mortals will be seen through. Oh, she's right in terms of the masquerade. But look, she's not a vampire. But she still worries about this thing about how we shouldn't let mortals know about us. She might not call it the masquerade code, but it's like this implicit understanding that all non-human creatures have come to a collective agreement on. Um... I mean, he did see us. He did see us. Well, he's scared. He doesn't know what he's seen. If he goes outside and he says that he's seen stuff, I don't think anybody would believe him. He does have a TV show talking about paranormal stuff, but everybody kind of knows it's already fake, right? Oh... There's two... Okay, there's three options here. Two of them involve bringing the guy here. That guy didn't really do anything wrong besides seeing the stuff. But you know what? Sometimes, even if you don't do anything wrong in life, it doesn't mean that things will always go right. If it has to be this way, I'll take care of it right away. Oh, do I really have to? Pisha, the flesh-eating uh, woman in the basement of the abandoned hospital, wants you to send the TV reporter down to her lair so she can kill him, as he's seen too much. Let's go talk to him first. Maybe there's another way around this. Do you stay here because there's a lot of corpses around here? Holy crap. But this hospital has been abandoned for so long. Oh, oh my god. Damn. I made a request of you. Why have you not sent the man down? I'm more scared of this lady than LaCroix and Nines combined. I'll go take care of it. She doesn't seem like she's fooling around. Oh, okay. Oh, when did the place turn into an Elysium? Hey, actually, it's not Elysium anymore. It's a combat area now. So, theoretically... I could try to get the one up on her, but I don't think that's wise. I'm kind of curious what she has to say anyway, but uh, let's see. Let's see if we can do something about this here. Oh, do we have to go back this way? I can't even see. You guys picked the wrong abandoned hospital to film in. There was a lady too, but she... I mean the reporter lady. She was screaming, but she's not anymore. Did she get eaten already? Oh jeez, just going back is such a trek. Come on. Maybe that guy left already. Okay, that would be a problem though, because... Yeah, we don't want him spreading information to the public. Even though nobody should believe him. Eventually though, if enough of this kind of report gets out, then people will start wondering, hey, maybe something really is wrong. Maybe there are some kind of supernatural creatures somewhere. And drawing attention is probably the last thing we want happening here. How do I get over? Uh, I can't get back up here, can I? Jeez. Jeez. 
I mean, I don't feel like I can get back up... ...get through here. Can I? Oh! Okay. Oh no! Oh, hey! There's a vent here. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Oh no. Okay, this is a bigger problem because where... Oh, do you think he went back to his apartment? Oh no. If he's going back to his apartment, he could be talking to the police, he could be talking to his neighbors. That's a... Uh, that's a lot of people. Wait, is he really gone though? Because I thought he would be up here still. He's just not here. Where'd he go? And how do I unlock this? Oh, maybe there was a way where I could have gone back quicker, right? Without going through all the obstacles. Maybe I didn't see it. But uh, let's try, let's try looking for the guy at his apartment then. I really, really hope he hasn't talked to anybody yet. If he hasn't, maybe we can still fix this somehow. If he has though, then we pretty much, oh, we gotta kill him. Or deal with him in some way. <sighs> but there might be another option if we, if we calm down and try to think a little bit. I don't know. I want to save him, I don't want to kill him because he really didn't do anything wrong. He really didn't. He was in the wrong place at the wrong time. Making crappy TV shows about fake ghost news, that shouldn't be a death sentence. But at the same time, if I let him live, it would be... pretty dang irresponsible of me as a vampire. Putting our entire race at risk. Not good. Let's hope he's at home. Hey. He looked like he wanted to attack me for a second. Milligan is number one. Do you think this would work? <laughs> yes. Perfect. Getting back at you for shooting me last time. Stay there. Yeah, run right on the edge, okay? <laughs> Stay there. Number one. Man, this guy has a computer, he has a TV show. It's too easy for him to get the word out. Milligan? Milligan? There he is. Oh, how sneaky. You're from the hospital. But in my crew, are they... are they... Oh... I want to let you go, but it's not good for my plan. Oh! I can't make you promise to never talk about it, can I? Oh, we have to do it. We have to do it. That lady seemed really scary. I don't want to piss her off. I'm sorry, Milligan. I'm really sorry. It was a joke. They're all waiting for you in the hospital basement. Funny guys. Ah. Uh. A, a joke? <laughs> a joke. A joke, right? <laughs> oh, real funny. Oh, you got me good. <laughs> I'm going to hurt some people very badly. It says humanity lost, but it's not like we're human anyway, so whatever. Yeah, you do that. Oh boy. Oh boy. What have I done? What have I done? You have dealt with a reporter for Pisha. Go back to the abandoned hospital and tell her. Oh boy. I'm sure she'll be pleased with me, and... Objectively, 
In terms of protecting the masquerade, I don't think that was a bad decision either, but it doesn't feel good, you know? Maybe I can make myself feel a little bit better and say, oh, that guy was probably a jerk anyway. He was lying to people, lying to the masses. Hey, look at that. My pool of vomit is still here. Wow. <laughs> Does that kind of thing stay forever? But yeah, uh, I hope she's done with him by the time I go back because I don't want to... I don't want to see it. I don't want to be a part of this. But I already am. I already am. But seriously, that lady seemed even scarier than LaCroix or Nines or anybody I've ever seen so far. Don't really want to piss her off. Well, everybody's gone. The Kind's fate was sealed the moment he entered. Do not waste time debating the morality. If a man walks into a tiger's domain, it may result in his being devoured. So it has. I think that was her way of comforting me. And okay, thank you. Thank you, it does help. Knowing that a wise creature is telling me not to debate the morality. I understand. About these artifacts you were talking about. Yes. I am searching for two items I have tracked to this area. One, I believe, may be in one of the local museums. I have not yet searched them all. The other, I believe, to be in the Giovanni's possession, though I have not confirmed it. For these items, I will exchange items of similar worth. You want me to find it for you? Fair enough. Tell me about the item you think is in a museum. A fetish is described in a 19th century chronicle of a British platoon's encounter with a local tribe. Soldiers would go missing in the night and be replaced by these fetishes. It may be valuable to my studies. What does fetish mean in this context? I'm not sure. Any other? It is used to communicate with certain entities otherworldly. It is a tome called the Voce del Morte. Should you find yourself within the walls of the Giovanni, seize the opportunity and take it. But they will make sure you never have another. Giovanni? Voce del Morte. Morte is death. Something about death. I have another question. Yes. Ah, so she's a vampire, but she eats flesh? Huh. I don't want to call her disgusting, but I kind of feel like she'd be okay with it. She seems very... Methodical and logical. So I'm hoping that she wouldn't be offended by my offensive fledgling words because I'm a baby and I just don't know better. I brought you a little snack. <laughs> you seem a little preoccupied with death. Death is the ultimate dilemma and integral to the beliefs and behavior of every culture. Life is bore on the corpses of the dead. Without death, there would be no motivation to accomplish anything. Mm. The only emotion would be existing. Life would be pestilent and agonizing. Oh, she sounds so wise. I had another question. Yes. I brought you a little snack. If it satisfies you, I make an effort to only prey on the weak and worthless, consuming their flesh not out of spite, but out of self-preservation. I wither and rot without it. It is my survival. What did I just give her? She gave me 10 bucks. <laughs> what did I just give her? <sighs> Not the guy, right? The guy came back already. Uh, that does make me feel better. Thank you. You're saying all these right things to make me feel better. I really appreciate it. Yes. I didn't get to say she's disgusting, but maybe that's for the best. Yeah. I'll let you... I'll let you get back to devouring flesh and poking at death. Bye. Research. Research into... The dead. She's doing this for survival, too. And looking at her dress, man, have you not changed since 230 years ago? You could probably be wearing something a little bit better. There's gotta be a vent around here, right? Probably that would be... Oh. Oh, wow. There's a door, but that ain't it. 
Oh, look at that. She's purple. What does that mean? People that we've seen in other times were white, right? Maybe purple means powerful vampiric creature. Something like that. Oh, this looks promising. Hold on. Uh, lady? Yes. Yes. I guess there's not really much you wanna, um, tell me. Okay. I'll- I'll be back. Or something. Pisha wants you to find two occult items and bring them back to her. One of them is a fetish, in the museum. And the other is a book located in the Giovanni mansion. Neither of these places do I remember having heard of before. Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, this probably goes back to the um, vent that was next to the guy. Business card. What was that? For a second, there was a prompt called business card. Oh! Oh, maybe that was the way you were supposed to find Milligan? Because if we didn't go to Skyline beforehand, we might not know. Yeah. Except your business card was so small, I didn't even see it on the ground. <laughs> okay. This was so much quicker, holy crap! Wow. At least we know it now. Maybe the museum and the Giovanni Mansion are in Hollywood or Chinatown? We can look at the map again, but I'm pretty sure we haven't seen those places before. Hey, was this their truck? Their car? For the TV show? There's a library here. Oh, that's the gargoyle place. Yeah. Okay. But otherwise, I really don't think the stuff that she's talking about is anywhere around here. We can't go in. The library is closed at night. As studious as we'd like to be, we can't read a book at this kind of hour. So now we can try to go find the parking garage or go to confession. And uh, oh, we can go back to the region about the plague bearers too. I'm guessing this one's the main quest here. The, um, the ship. Oh, but it's just saying that we should go back to LaCroix before going to the ship. So we can do that right now because the Venture Tower is literally right behind us. It's the same kind of statue that they had at the asylum. In Teresa's office. Yeah, you go right on up and see Mr. LaCroix. Hmm. That ermine gland oil and that new badge polish really makes this sucker shine. Okay, you do you, Chunk. It's pretty quiet here. Did you ever get bored? If I use Auspex... Oh, am I allowed to use Auspex here? I just want to see what kind of auras they have. Yeah, not allowed. It's like he sensed that. He sensed that I try to do that. Oh, wow, look at this view. That's amazing. Anyway. Give the Anarch community my regards. He doesn't like the Anarchs. If I say, oh, the Anarchs, he might be happy, but it might be a little bit too bootlicky. Definitely don't say the last one. Hmm. Huh. Is there any harm in telling him exactly what Nine said? I don't think so. Let's see how he replies. I did. Here's what Nine said. Nothing they haven't crassly delivered untold times within Elysium. You have to understand, most of the Anarchs know no better option, or have been bullied into their cause by the Enrulia ones. You can't fault all for the boorishness of a few. Now that that's out of the way, I trust hmm. you're prepared to leave for the Dane. He doesn't feel very threatened by them. 
Uh, you want me to go right now? Are you teleporting me? I am, but I had some questions first. I suppose I can spare a few seconds. I had some questions about people. Yes. Yourself. It's common knowledge. I was born in Calais, France, over 200 years ago. Ooh. When I graduated from the Royal Military Academy, I joined Napoleon's army. It was shortly after Waterloo when I was embraced by a Belgian noble. From that time onward, I counted some of the greatest kindred in Europe as my mentors and worked towards establishing a Camarilla presence in new territories. In 1930, I came to the Americas and staked power in New York. Soon after, I headed west to claim domain. I don't think his clan is a secret, but we can confirm. What clan are you? I'm Ventru. But I don't disparage any of the other clans. All are equally important in maintaining the foundations of the Camarilla, and the elders of each serve as my counsel. Even the trouble-causing Bruja? Hmm, huh, interesting. So he's about 200 years old, which means Pisha might be a little bit older than him. But then, uh, Strauss was saying that LaCroix would be considered young. So in the grand scheme of things, 200 years old is like nothing. I had questions about someone else. Yes? Beckett. You've met Beckett? Yes. He did pay me the courtesy of announcing his presence in my city. He's lionized in kindred society, by most. Beckett's the definition of renowned scholar, but he's also a lone wolf, and owes allegiance only to his intellectual pursuits. Sounds like a smart guy. Yes? Jack. Jack. Hmm. The man is a scourge. The physical manifestation of chaos. Whenever he makes an appearance in one city, it is only a matter of time before a calamity is attributed to his latest lark. Yeah, and he's a guy that taught me everything that you didn't teach me. Yes? Mm, the guy standing behind you. He's my sheriff. When there is a problem that words are wasted on, I send him. The less one sees of him, the better. Dude, look at his hand! The sheriff's hand! It's not even human looking! His hand is as big as that guy's face. What is he? Like, if he's an enforcer, being physically strong, it might be a Bruja thing, but he's just not even... He doesn't seem to talk much. I really wonder what clan he is. I had a question about something else. Which is... The Camarilla. In this age of information, videotape, and weapons of mass destruction, the Camarilla is more necessary than it has ever been. The alternative to thorough secrecy these days is extinction. As long as we exist, so shall kindred society. Mm hmm, so a while ago I was wondering, hey, why don't the vampires just kill off the humans if we're so strong? But it seems like that's not a possibility. Yeah, even though individually, one vampire versus one human, we'd probably win no problem. But the existence of people like vampire hunters and... It sounds like the number of vampires out there are very small. There's very few of us. It just seems like there's a lot here because we're meeting them left and right. But overall, it's just not a good idea. Hmm. Which is... Can you tell me about the Sabbat? Every night you wake up, be thankful you were not sired by one of their kind. Or you would have woken under the ground, forced to claw your way up from the dirt into a brief, bloody, violent existence. Savages. Bloodthirsty, irresponsible heathens. I wonder if we'll get the chance to meet a Sabbat that we can talk to properly. Because right now we have Camarilla, right now we have Anarchs, and they both seem to hate Sabbats, but I don't know anybody from the Sabbats. Which is... Can you tell me more about the Ankaran sarcophagus? All I know about the Ankaran sarcophagus is what I've heard on the news. Really? It was found during an archaeological excavation in Turkey, and it appears ancient. There could be nothing but dust inside, 
However, that does not discount the possibility of it containing some kindred artifact, or even a mummy. All of these evidence of the supernatural, and therefore potentially damaging to us. As for it containing an ancient kindred, the Camarilla does not put stock in the actuality of antediluvians. They're myths. Don't let anyone tell you differently. Antediluvians. That's come up in a loading screen before. Was it like, very old vampire basically? I was just gonna say, because in the beginning he was saying, Oh yeah, there's nothing... I don't know anything besides what I saw in the news. I'm like, what? That sounds like bullcrap. Especially because the Anarchs were telling me, Ooh, there is a spooky father vampire inside. Well, vampires exist, so I definitely lean towards thinking it's real, but maybe I'll be the one to find out, just like Jack says. And... I'll open it. <laughs> I'll open it and find out. <laughs> That's all the questions I have for now. Goodbye. I will come back and we will... go on the ship last, as I always like to do. Very nice of you to teleport me to the front.